There's just a few more maintenance items to wrap up and then we're gonna be sailing again. I am so excited. This guy over here, we have no idea about his condition, so I'm gonna go change his oil, fill him up with some gas, and see if she runs. So now that we have a working generator, we need to have a working engine because tomorrow we shove off of this dock like thing and head out into Big Blue for the first time in a long time. So let's get to it. Our engine is very thirsty for oil right now. She's running beautifully. So now we're just gonna take care of her. There are about 15 extra impellers on this boat. So the prior captain really was double, double, double. So we think we're good on that. It looks like he maintenance the thing really well. So I'm excited to have an inboard engine. Woo! We're gonna use an oil extractor. So you stick the oil extractor feed tube down the oil level tube. The inspection apparatus. I'm gonna pull the dipstick out. Ooh, okay. And you can see our oil level is dangerously low. I don't even know if we're gonna pull much more oil out of there. Did you already pull oil out of there? No. That's just how much it had? That's just how much it had, which is not particularly good. But that's why we're gonna put new oil in. Ah! This is why I don't like horizontal mount oil filters. It doesn't smell so fresh anymore. No, though. dead dinos. Or maybe that's the fact we're sitting in this toilet. <laughs> Could be. We so made quite a bit of mess here. What's new? After cleaning up the mess that I think was inevitable, I now will replace and put a new one in, which we actually have multiple spares that came with the boat genuine Yanmar parts. Ooh. Nice and shiny. Uh, one thing you must remember when changing over a oil filter Shut is... Shut the toilet seat before you sit down. No, you <laughs> see this rubber ring? Sometimes the rubber ring stays on the engine and then when you put it, you try to seal them up, kind of makes a gap and you will have an oil mess. So always just check on the surface on the engine that there is no oil ring. I'm just gonna get a nice finger of oil. You just gotta lubricate that seal nicely. And remember, it just needs to be hand tight. There we go. Done? Yeah. And because we did an oil filter change, you must remember that you're gonna have to add extra oil. I filled out a Jiffy Lube sticker. And we're gonna place this on the engine because it is heat resistant. No, it's not. Where are we gonna put this? On the oil filter. On the oil filter. Let's go. Now she's got a fresh tank of oil, reservoir of oil. Her oil is clean and ready to go. So now it's time for us to change the Raycor filter. And I'm really confident with this engine. I turned the key, it actually scared me. It started so fast. Um, good compression. So. That's cool. Here's the old guy and the new guy. Now for the fun part. One thing I must say, this boat is super convenient with these toolboxes that actually go here and below that you have access. So you've got all the way around the engine you've got access and it's just two little slide bolt. Dead bolt. Dead bolt. Dead bolt. And everything comes apart. Okay. Out with the old, in with the new, eh? Okay. 
Cheers, babe. Bye. Searle has returned with the tanks. Bad news is that they are way past their due date, so they have to be recertified. So what we did is we got, or he got, a big tank from Home Depot. We're gonna hook that up with a new hose and use that for now until we can get the other tanks service. Okay, so what would have saved you a trip here? Take a look at this one. This was produced 794. These are only valid for 12 years. It's older than you. So that is no good. Can take a look at this one. This one is 81. Older than me. <laughs> <laughs> and if we take a look at this one, it's showing 10th 01, and there's an E at the end. What the E means is that it had a extended use, so it added an extra five years. So this is still out of date. The next thing we're gonna do is hoist the head sail, which I am pretty excited about. So the first furl of the season is never a pretty one, but she's furled and we're ready to go tomorrow, I hope. That was the easiest getting off the dock probably ever and I'm still so mortified because there's other people's boats around. I don't know. I guess also I don't know this boat. This is our first trip. It's just nerve wracking. I know that other people out there probably feel the same, but don't admit it. That's what I tell myself. So it feels good to be back on the water. So good. It's a little bit interesting um, moving this boat. We're under power right now with over a third of the rudder missing and this tiny wheel that's been taken off of a power boat. It just feels like there's a lot of weather helm. So I don't know if that has to do with the rudder or if it has to do with this wheel or if it's just the handling of the boat, but I'm getting used to it. So also my Formosa has hydraulic steering and it just like, you can't feel anything. So interesting. How does it feel? Feels right. Feels like we should be out here. I'm excited to uh, enjoy a sunset away from everyone. Breath of fresh air in my life I don't know how, don't know why But I'll, I'll be toasting all my life Cal 42. Oh, 
Little Miss's big sister. It is so nice to be back on the boats and in the warm weather. Ah, yay! I think he's still inflated. Okay, we've dropped the anchor and it's dark. It was a very tight squeeze into this little spot. I will show you on the map tomorrow. But tonight I'm gonna put all the mosquito nets up and we're gonna stay in this little bayou. I just put Atlas to bed after his first sail and we're gonna eat a salad and ah. then hit the sack and get sailing, I don't know, maybe tomorrow or maybe we'll do some projects. We're gonna see who is in okay. this neck of the woods. Okay, we are going to lower the dinghy that we have named Squish. <laughs> okay, did you put the plug in Squish? Yes, I put the plug in Squish. All right. I'm feeling very hopeful that Squish floats. Fingers crossed. Freya's toes are crossed because she would like to go to shore. Tell the people what you're gonna do. Lower the dinghy in. You're gonna lower who in? Lower the dinghy in. Who? Squish. Squish. I already tied off a bow line to our midship imaginary cleat. Okay, sounds good. Fire in the hole. Okay, there she goes. Formerly sinking dinghy. Hopefully, is now the floating dinghy. Now we're gonna put this bad boy on. Kuhatsu! Like a very lean, mean crane there. This boat's pretty outfitted. <laughs> Working against me. Dingy pump first. Okay, you're gonna go upwind so that you're blown back to the boat with your one oar when it fails. Yeah. Good it's, idea. This oar doesn't even have a head on it. See you later, Wilson. Toes <laughs> And he's off. Oh no! You're so close. we've ever used the dinghy or the engine and we are so happy getting a uh, a nice dinghy is like getting a nice new car it looks really fast it's got a flat bottom and an 18 horse um, outboard so should be fun Take the rockets. squish is afloat and looking still inflated looks good Look, Florida was supposed to be warm. <laughs> it's my yoga outfit. This is terrible. I look like I'm in the Himalayas. Yeah. Your poor chicken. <laughs> He's trying to figure out how to not get blown off the feet there. It is so cold. <laughs> it is so cold. Atlas, how you doing over there, buddy? So we fared another night in the anchorage. is 
when this is over.